gaffer a, a point on the board, but is there frustration now that you didn't take all three after dominating large parts of the game? Possibly, yeah. But if I'm honest with you, the conditions and and, and, the, and the pitch quality today was, you know, was, was was atrocious and very very difficult to play under. So, had there been no wind, I think the pitch might have been an issue and a problem because it was very very lively, very very patchy, bouncy and bubbly. We um, have to say, you know, the wind, the winter, one weather weather condition that absolutely spoils and ruins football games, and, and it did that for large parts today. And also, not few and far chances between really. And I think if one was going to drop, it might have been the first half. Few chances, blocks, and then Geraldo has one that's doesn't quite get over the line. Yeah, I mean, ironically, we probably were, we were better playing against the wind. Um, you know, we've, we've, we've had some good spells and some good opportunities and good moments. I thought first half, the lads defending very, very well, their resilience, their character to defend a lot of forward passes, a lot of balls in and around 25 yards from goal and in and around the box. I thought they were magnificent and we had some moments and some spells that we got it down and, you know, we made one or two passes and gained a little bit of control in the game, but it was difficult to do with the pitch and with the conditions. Um, we, we probably did have, a, have better chances in, in, in the first half. You know, what I said at half time was we put two lads up top, you know, two lads who we can play into, two lads who are going to be aerial, aerial dominant. Um, disappointing thing for me was we didn't, we didn't play in that territory as often as we possibly could have. Was that the thinking there to bring Bliss and Rice Young sort of, you know, playing with the wind and then trying to get the balls up there to those two? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I. I, I Half half to half time. Normally, you know, we look at we look at we look at the game tactically in possession, out of possession, and both transitions. And you know, I went in with the staff and I said, look, what what puts what puts what puts us on edge? First half, what makes you edgy against against the wind? And what makes you edgy is is forward passes, angled passes, passing around your territory, set plays, crosses, shots. That makes you edgy. So that you know, the thinking was to put two boys up top, um, try and be a bit more forward thinking in terms of you know. The beautiful side of the game, and the you know, and, and the purest side of the game. Try and miss that, and try and hit some angled passes and get it forwards, and, and just trying to gain loads of territory in there. Because against the wind as well, to, to play a play out against those conditions was very very difficult. So once we were in there, I thought we could have backed it up. We could have had some, you know, asked asked more questions, and, and we could have kept it in there, you know, with with that instant pressure on the turnover to try and try and keep it in in there and, and let, you know, take away them getting any momentum in the game. It wasn't the ideal pre-match start with Alex Goodger coming coming off uh, injured. Uh, but George Carlin slotted in there and played really well. As did Tyrone when he went to the left centre half. Yeah, yeah, and you know the boys are you know the boys have been very very good um, with their adaptability. Uh, one thing that when I first come to the football club, you know, I was taught about George Carlin. He could play anywhere, um, even in goal. You know, people you know people have said he can play absolutely anywhere on the pitch, and he's proved that today. And he came in and contributed very very well. And just a word on Mitch Hancock. Obviously, came off injured, but Nick Clayton Phillips as well slotted in a, in a unnatural position. Yeah, it was unnatural. You know, we could have, we probably could have done several different things. But you know, again, with having that that wind, I'd have hoped to have more territory and, and for Nick to play more of a more of a an, an out wide player as, as opposed to a wing back. Um, didn't transpire in the in the, in the fashion that that, that that I thought maybe it would have. But you know, he, he had some contributions and, and got probably three or four decent deliveries into the box and, and asked a question. Any update on um, Alex's situation? No, no, I've not got not got a much much detail on that. Um, I'm not too sure he knows how, how exactly that he did it, so we want for the medical team to, to get on top of that over the next 24 hours.